Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing Avatar 2, the way of water, in which they drink water, and like, they do, they drink water, and it's like, it tastes really good. Or no, that's not what it's about. It's like Avatar, but instead of in the forest, they're like in the water, and it's like Pandora's box, except like, you know how James Cameron is like, remember how deep I went into the ocean? So basically, he probably got inspired by that, and then decided to like, spend like, an entire decade working on this like project with these like blue people underwater and like cgi so he'd be like oh my god remember how deep i went into the ocean and now we're all paying the price i would say overall it's like a, a mid movie um i've i personally uh seen better like the whole like um water battle sequence bro just like watch pirates of the caribbean or like something it's just basically that but it's like aliens and other aliens or like humans and also there's some like weird thing where like they like regrew the colonel from the last movie but except he's an avatar and i just think it's like really weird they should just like introduce like a new evil guy or something i just felt like it was kind of weird oh there's also this really cool character called spider where she's just like a guy he's just like, a little kid in like a, a in a suit he's like 15. no he's like 10. he's like 15. No, he's like 10 years old and he's just like butt ass naked. Like, man's like Mowgli out here, like in the jungle book. <laughs> what is your thoughts on Spider? I think he's a little bitch. You think, well, oh. So, uh, not to do any spoilers for uh, Avatar 2, but, um, it actually introduces racism between the blue people because there's this turquoise, um, clan of people that are like they look different and they they do different things because they're like from the sea not from the forest and they're like oh man you forest people we don't like you and they're like oh man sea people we don't like you and they're like fighting and like bullying and i just think it's funny because visually it's visually stunning wouldn't you agree yes, I do agree. because it's just like we saw an imax and it was like it was like crazy and it was like super loud and some karen complained and like turned it down because she's like it's too loud and like the thing went down but it was actually like really visually stunning it was basically like some nautica because there's i don't know there's this whole subplot about them trying to like save these whales from extinction and it was really stupid that's not what it was what was it then this the, I don't remember what they're called, but they're, Talk louder. they're, they're their spirit homes. So the fact that they're hunting them and killing them affects the clan. And the one outcast one bonded with the, one of the forest kids. Okay, so stupid, there's like a misfit whale. That's that's what you're trying to tell me and you feel bad for it? He helped in the final battle of the movie. Okay. So he basically saved their lives. Okay, whatever you say. So in terms of the actual um, plot of the movie, I would say the third act is like so cool. It's like basically this entire battle sequence and it's like so badass. Oh yeah, was I supposed to say spoilers? Cause like some minor spoilers. It was like so, it was crazy. It was just like, it was the CGI. It was just like visually stunning and it was just so cool. The second act however dragged because it was just them like dealing with like some Nautica stuff and like, it would like cut in between like them like exploring like whales and like stupid whales and then it would cut back to like this weird um what do you what are your what is your take on the the second act i liked it why i thought it was really cool how they explained everything and built up the third movement that you don't that you actually like but you would understand if you hadn't tried to fall asleep well it's like three hours of like blue people so um cut me a cut me some slack imagine i would this movie is like way too long okay uh, some movies they're allowed to be this long but like blue people really what are your opinions on avatar 2 Movie. You think it's a good movie, but more like there's blue people and like they they have tail sex. No. Yeah, that's what they do. And when the blue guys get hair, it's hair sex, not tail sex. Oh, well, I don't know what they do with their tails. They're like weird. Can't you see the tails on the new movie? They're thicker. 
they are. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to say that Avatar 2 is like mid. It was actually like really good and visually stunning. I just personally feel that like it's kind of like other movies rehashed into like stuff that I've already seen before in terms of the plot. But that doesn't mean that it's bad because like the way he like crafted the movie, I have no idea how he did it in terms of like all the underwater CGI and just like making it. It's truly like a masterpiece of filmmaking, don't get me wrong. And it's 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 it's, it's entertaining to say the least. I just feel like it's not perfect, but then again, nothing is. I don't know.